you find people like Jay-Z are more respected because the people like Tupac are more respected because they're poets. They got some, they got, they're written in the language. Yet, we cannot just go and sing in English because there are better people who breastfeed on English. From childhood, they're breastfeeding on English. So, we got to try and sing in our language. <laughs> If I play American hip hop, yeah, there are a, a certain number of people who love it and they'll stay on the dance floor. But if I drop a bongo flavor track, then everyone just piles onto the dance floor. And it's, I mean, people really feel it because they can understand the lyrics and it's talking about things that people really experience and they understand. The original Swahili, Swahili comes from Zanzibar. There's a famous joke that says uh, Swahili was born in Zanzibar and uh, fell sick in Kenya and died in Uganda. You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, the, the hip hop from Da, uh, from Tanzania, is uh, it has got that identity of Swahili. Us in Uganda, we are we are Anglo speaking. We are Anglo people. We are from from childhood. We are taught English. We're not taught Swahili. In Tanzania, they taught Swahili. So our people here, the the, the hip hop singers in Uganda, they sing more of English. And uh, right now, uh, Sylvester and Adams are trying to enforce the, the, the Luganda, which is uh, the, the main spoken language in Uganda, it's Luganda. So they're singing in Luganda to try and, uh, you know, give us more of an identity. <laughs> They have that misconception. They think hip hop is about bling blinging. Yeah, yeah. So when they see people like us, you know, like freestyle, trying to keep it real, you know, they think we're not hip hop. They want to. They, want, they always have that picture of the 50 Cent, Cent Nelly, yeah, yeah. Chingy. So they want us to walk into uh, those footsteps. And we, you know, we are totally different because we want to represent where we are and where we're from and you know, what, whatever we go through in, in our daily lives. So, because I believe hip hop is a way of life, and this is our way of life. Namu sanyunga tubera kabuko, bana beicha bakabi nyambala gasiba tuko, kabala bati nula bala bala basi bafa ko saloza, obadala olimva ko, nyabo tuza ban tu banji banji bafu keko, nega la biva ko, sira basi sira basi chuka ko, bagambe njavo tere mere ro amasanga kayo. Of course, I deal with the with the with the major with the major problem we're facing in the whole world, eight. And then the problems uh, that we go through as youth, as the youth, uh, problems like drug abuse, social social problems like domestic violence, uh, things like you, you have uh, you have little girls giving birth before they are old enough to be mothers. They have they have kids. You see them all around. You've seen it up in all over Africa and all over the world. So I deal with the problems that you know that affect us as young people. Most of the time they write words about life, about about developments, you know, and a little bit of clubbing and all that, but most of the time they write stuff about which the reality in the in the in the country. Very nice, very nice because nice. nice you know they were keeping it real to themselves, they were singing their experience. language. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They got their culture, but it didn't change their feel. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? They like, like the way guy, ha, 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 how the guy was singing. Yeah. He was very, very musical. He was singing his language yeah. and like maintaining his culture way of singing. Yeah. But he didn't change the, the whole feel. That's why we could easily like collaborate and get together. We come in, you know what I mean? With different job. languages, different cultures, but we could easily mix because the feel didn't change. Yeah.